Hatul's Boulevard series are getting better and better, so much that in today's unboxing we have two new castings. Let's check them out. We do have two new castings, but the highlight of the set is this amazing Honda Civic Type R in an all-white color, white rims and red interior. The JDM cars are a must-have for a Boulevard set and they nailed it this time as well as with the white skyline in Mix 1. I really hope they keep it up cause we enjoy it for sure. The Civic has appeared in 2021, it has been that amazing gold super treasure hunt last year, it has also been a red edition and now a premium casting. They are doing such a great job with it and probably most of you have seen that it is also going to appear in the upcoming special themed set Neon Speeders coming in the future in a case unboxing video on this channel. It is definitely a killer casting and collectors love it. We all just love this one. The second one is the 96 Chevy Impala. Another casting that hasn't been released long ago, in 2020, in the same black color, but obviously it looks amazing as a premium and I love the rims they have chosen for it. I have both versions released in the singles, in the main lines, and now I can enjoy it in the Hatul's premium sets. It has no other premium release, but I have a feeling we're going to see more of it in the future. It is one of those that it will look great in a car culture set. It has that vibe, that feeling. What do you guys think about this one? Thumbs up or thumbs down? Next casting is the Volkswagen T1 panel bus which is the oldest casting in the set and one that most of you love it for all the good reasons as this is a cool, just a very cool bus. We haven't talked about the artwork on the cards besides the fact that it represents each casting on the road, all of them have a very cool background and overall it has an amazing vibe to them, especially if you are a carded collector you are going to enjoy this for sure. The bus has been released in 2012 in the premium nostalgia set Hershey's and it had a different name back then the Volkswagen Microbus, and I have the same exact version still carded. It only had premium releases and many of them in series like Pop Culture, Car Culture and even as a Hatul's Collector's Convention casting. Obviously, because I don't have more of this casting I can't really pick a favorite, but I do enjoy the Hershey's version and I'm going to try and get more of them in the future. Next one is the first new casting of the set, the Ford Escort and Hattles have done an amazing job on this rally car. The decals, liveries are top notch, they even nailed the rims that suits the car very well. When I see new castings released in premium sets with premium details, paint, metal on metal, most of them look amazing, but I cannot help myself not thinking how can the same casting look in the mainline segment, cause sometimes they do such a great job and other times well, not so much. We have many examples of not so great castings, but until then, let's enjoy what we have in premium sets and worry about mainlines later. The last casting of the set is another JDM car, the Mazda Mazda Speed Miata. Convertible in this simple red color with cool wheels and black interior. I enjoy what they did with this car, they nailed this one as well and seeing how great this boulevard set makes me worry a bit cause maybe Hatsus might not be able to keep up with such cool castings and they might release the next set who collectors might not enjoy, but we will see, so far this year has started great. Unfortunately I don't know much about the real model of it, the regular MX-5 is way more popular than this one but it definitely fits this set very well. As I said, this is a new casting and we might see this one in future sets and probably with even better colors. Even so, it will see some love from many collectors. What else might see some love from many collectors is this next set and you can check the case unboxing by clicking on this video. Thank you for watching and have a great day.